All right, what's good, y'all? Um, so, uh, this is actually going to be a video that's going to focus on two things. Um, the first thing is something I'm kind of excited to show you guys, and the other thing is the um, Lions and Giants game this Sunday. So, um, first things first, my birthday was, you can't see me right now, but... My birthday was, what, two weeks ago? Right? Yeah, two weeks ago. Um, I turned 23. I got a Giants jersey for my uh, birthday. And while I was picking, I sat there wondering what jersey I could possibly buy. And, um... Wait a minute. All right. I'm trying to figure out if I can flip this on here. I don't think I can. All right, forget it. So I decided to... Um, I'm, I'm sold on this guy since we drafted him. Um, I wanted him when there was rumors that we might draft him. He's now our new franchise quarterback. And it's Daniel Jones. And I got his jersey now. And um, this team still pisses me off. But, you know, he, he hasn't been playing that well lately. But he gives me hope for this offense in the future. Our coaching staff is still terrible, you know. Um, but honestly, another reason why I bought this jersey is because out of all the players on this team, I feel like he's like the number one guy that you can almost guarantee will not be gone next year because we have a GM in Dave Gettleman who likes to trade everyone, you know, for draft picks, but I don't see him trading his, his franchise quarterback, at least his future franchise quarterback anytime soon. So um, just another reason why I got Daniel Jones jersey. Um, I'm really happy with what I've seen out of him. Um, can't wait to see more of him next year when he's hopefully under a new offense. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you that, show you guys this new jersey. Um, on to the Giants and Lions game. I mean, there's really not much I can really say about this game. I'm not even going to do a full on, you know review the lions are a competitive football team and we're not the lions have their shit together and we don't um are the lions have a real head coach and matt patricia and we have pat Shermer and his trash trash garbage offense behind this really awful offensive line um i heard rumors that janoris jenkins should be on his way out uh there was like some trade rumors um Involving him. Uh, Sam Beal is supposed to actually get back from injury. Um, and I guess he's going to take Jordan Jenkins' spot. So we're going to have DeAndre Baker and Sam Beal. Two guys that are practically rookies starting outside. I don't know how I feel about that. But um, Jenkins has been awful this year. So, I mean, it can't really get that much worse. So I'm glad to see him go. I hope I see Nate Solder go. Um, Nate Solder is... It's not even that Nate Solder is bad. It's more so he's just he's his he's just not worth the contract we gave him. I mean, he's getting paid like all pro left tackle money and he might be the worst starting left tackle in the NFL. And that's not a good combination, not to mention, you know, you can clearly it clearly sticks out. His play clearly sticks out when you know, halfway through the season and your team only has two wins. Um, anyway, Lions, Matt Stafford's going to throw over this defense. Uh, as for their defense, is going to completely shut out this offense because we can't get anything going. Um, I mean, you saw last week. I mean, we had 
we had Barkley on the field. We had Evan Ingram on the field. We had, you know, Daniel Jones, who's supposed to be more mobile than Eli Manning, which he is, but at the same time, he still is a rookie, and it showed last week. You know, I... I, I, I you know, I, I don't really see us winning a game anytime soon. You know, I, I think the NFL has started to figure out Daniel Jones' weakness, at least his weakness for this year as a rookie, and I think they're going to expose that for the rest of this year. Um, I can't wait to hear the news that Pat Shermer has been fired. I probably won't hear that during the season, and that's okay as long as he's not our head coach next year. Um, but, yeah, um, I don't really have much to say about this Lions and Giants game. I mean, it's a complete mismatch. They have one of the best defenses in the NFL, and we have one of the worst offenses in the NFL. Uh we have one of the worst defenses in the NFL, and while their offense is not great, they can actually score points, and they will score a lot of points this Sunday. Oh, and by the way, the game, not that this makes a difference because we still suck, but the game is going to be in Detroit, so we don't even have home foot advantage on our side. Um, I'm going to be very surprised if we win this game. Uh, last week with the Arizona Cardinals, that kind of did it for me. I mean, if we can't beat the Cardinals... um. I, I don't see how we're going to... Maybe we'll beat the Redskins later this year. Maybe. Maybe we can manage to hold a game together against the Eagles some point, you know? Um, I mean, we're still going to lose that game, but maybe that'll be like a close game. Other than that, I don't see any game for the rest of the season even being that close. You know, last week, I, I think this whole football team got exposed and we lost to a rookie quarterback. And he came up into we lost to a rookie quarterback and a rookie head coach both of them came up into our stadium and beat us i mean just just pissed all in our mouth you know and it's ridiculous and yeah so i got the lions on sunday winning if i had to guess the score 35 to 13 there you have it Till next time, got this Daniel Jones jersey. Um, I will be repping it, even though we're probably not going to win a game for the rest of the season. Um, yeah, so go Big Blue, I guess. Trash-ass team.